A possible solution to this example, and you'll see this one acts strange on my computer. So I'm going to go put it into Power Query. We've got this information here. Now I know, because I've tried it in Excel, it's one of those funny spaces things. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to highlight these two, replace the values, and we're going to say replace that special space hash open bracket zero zero a zero close with nothing when I say OK you'll see nothing happens so on mine for some reason it's actually not even recognizing that and there's no way we seem to be able to get it through depending on your computer you may have picked it up and you can change it into a number just to show further if I right click here change the type and make it a decimal number you'll see they all give me error messages but I still need to get this into a number so what other ways can we try I've tried locale I've tried all these other methods let's see what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna split it and try and split it on the full stop here so let's see if that's gonna work split the columns by delimiter seems to have noticed the full stop so that looks fine when I say OK You'll see suddenly now it seems to be treating it correctly. Now although this is not ideal, sometimes time is of the essence and you just need to get it done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom column and I'm going to say amount including VAT and all I'm going to do is create, I'm going to say that plus in brackets that divided by 100 and all we're doing is we remaking up that number when I say OK it should now go through and you'll see these now when I convert it to a decimal number now are allowed to be a decimal number we can actually use those numbers as decimal numbers and all we've done is we've split the columns and then put them back together because for whatever reason Power Query wasn't seeing the special space we could probably do the same thing with this one here. Let's try. Split the column again by full stop. Okay, it seems to have done it and it now seems to be treating it as numbers. Create a custom column. Call it amount. And we're going to say it's amount 1 plus amount 2 divided by 100 to give us our decimals. Let's see if it works. And again it seems to have worked and if I now change the type to decimal numbers it seems to accept it.